guys so today I'm vlogging so I am going to be in New York for four days so yesterday was Caribbean uh, Brooklyn Caribbean Little Earth Festival so there's a vlog for that so that would be day one so next three days will be in this vlog so fun stuff the first two days the next two days today and tomorrow is all of my mother we're gonna do some fun stuff I will share it's some of her bucket list thing that she wants to do especially tomorrow fingers crossed <laughs> and then I have another event on Tuesday that I'm really excited about I will be sharing all of that with you guys and today pretty much I'm running some errands and then I'm gonna head back and get that grill going and chill read and relax a little because tomorrow's gonna be one of those those days I'm gonna need all my energy so I'm taking you guys with me for the little shopping and I'm doing mini shopping I just have to get a few stuff and then that's it. and yeah I don't blog that often, so when I'm blogging and people in my face, like this guy literally stopped in front of me to look at me. <laughs> um, yeah, be with me, y'all. Be with me all for this street vlogging situation. But let's get something to eat for breakfast. Well, br brunch, it's almost 12. Yeah. And it's not too sweet, it's just right. Yeah, because sometimes people make pumpkin latte and it's way too sweet. This is good. This is my first time that I made it with the real pumpkin puree because the last year I was making just with the syrup and the flour. Yeah, no, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. They definitely feel like spring guys so I had the breakfast it was pretty good and the guy wanted me to test out his latte that he made I guess I was like first customer it was really good it wasn't too sweet it had enough spice because I am NOT a big pumpkin latte because all the ones that I've had are super sweet and this was not this is like the perfect spice and perfect amount of um, ingredients to not make it super sweet so you got a thumbs up for me on that one um, and then I'm picking up I was reading rather it's a slow read for me for that one because I'm still reading to Booker guys I'm struggling with the Booker don't let me know if I'm not the only one if you guys are struggling with the Booker list the Booker long list this year this it, it's a little painful some of the books like I, I don't know what the judges were thinking with some of the books um, but I'm pushing on I have 10 of the 13 and I hope the 6 is in this even though 3 of them so far are like a no for me um, so we'll see how the list is going to go but for right now we're, we're going to push along I'll talk about the books later of what I've got through and what I'm hoping to get through the next few days even though I'm going to be super busy but we'll see um, and I have some books I picked by the book yesterday and at the festival so we'll see what I can read for the next two days be honest not as hectic so I should be able to get a lot of reading in um, in the evening and then Tuesday in the mornings for sure because I will have time but other than that yeah the weather is really nice guys it's like you still need a long sleeve it's a little windy but it's not like freezing and it's not super hot so yeah so I'm out here in, in, in this Brooklyn streets waiting on the bus because I, I can't I can't I'm not walking all the way downtown normally I would but not today um, saving my legs for tomorrow yeah I would know why I'm saying I'm saving my legs for tomorrow so all right let's continue waiting on this bus yeah
everything I wanted. But there's just like one item that they didn't have. Um, I could do without it if I push come to shop, but I really want it. <laughs> I'm gonna walk to the other store and hopefully they have something. If not, it's what it is. So you call it. I can't even see what you're doing. You take these out here for the heart. You know why this one feel like it arrived already. You take these out. These are heart. The bottom. Alright guys, so my mother is roasting some bread fruit. And let's but look at shopping yeah I know yeah <laughs> did you hear her <laughs> say I'm acting like I'm in Trelawney yes but that, but <laughs> she is uh, struggling with this roast bread food story so we're roasting yum yellow yum and bread fruit and some selfish that's what she wants so I really went to get some earrings and shoes and I wanted a small mini bag but they didn't have that. Reason why, this second hole I re-pierced it. <laughs> I re-pierced it back in December, right? And I was a, I wore earring maybe two day two months. I would say I wore earring about two months consistently because I did not want it to close back up. But y'all I lost so many of these earrings that I usually use and I was just like I need to buy more because the earring is the, the hole might close up and I don't want to have to repierce it again so I got these um, and they had a really good sale on them and I wanted of course I, I try to stay away from certain earrings because you know my, my skin can't take it but these one so I'm gonna put them in and have them you know go all the way up um, I have one two other holes here yeah but you also had your hand all the way in it so I got these which was really what I went for one of the items then I wanted some costume earrings, nothing serious, but they had uh, these Anne Klein costume earrings. So these are all, and mine my nail guys, cause I was near the grill. So I have this one. This knob. Um, this one. I have real pearls. Um, but I do like wearing costume ones sometimes and these are the fun ones that I love 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 They're very similar to what I have in but a little different. So I got these so it's my little costume earrings. I also got a brooch which is also from Anne Klein and I am looking forward to this. So this is gonna be what I will put on to like a basic jacket um and put a brooch on the basic jacket to kind of give it a little dressy feel and I'm excited for this I also got the shoes I'm dropping everything yeah, everything I drop so I got the shoes I wanted these pumps one I need a comfy pump that had short kitten heel because I cannot I'm at that big age now y'all I cannot do the high high heel so I love that this is the kitten heel and I love even though it's narrow in the front um, it has it, it doesn't squeeze my toes like I was able to walk in the store with this and this is this is going to be worn a lot this time of the year with all of my birthday party and events and stuff that I'm going to and I wanted a basic pump which is not really basic because it blings y'all see the bling the shiny situation going on 
so it's, it's, it's elevated even though the, it's short heel and it's still giving a, a dressy feel so yeah Um, so that's the only shoes. I did want to get a red one, but I didn't see any red one that I really loved. So, and then I went over to Mac and I just needed chestnut pencil. You guys know what that is. Um, I wanted to get a raisin blush, which is really nice for my dark skin tone. And this is like an everyday kind of blush. I got something free. Um, yeah. No, I didn't. Did I order this? I might have, you know. Let me stop. Cause I know, I know she said I get something free, but no, it's sample stuff. It's some sample stuff. But I wanted the eyeliner pencil for, you know, under my eye. So this is just an eyeliner pencil. I'm so, but I paid less than I thought. Hmm. I wonder how much that was because the bill wasn't that bad. And then I got a brown nudie lipstick. So I'll show you guys the color. This is definitely going to be a fall favorite. Like I just see myself wearing this a lot. And you can see on my complexion it's nice it's nice and this one is oh turn i think it says oh turn to the left so if you guys are familiar with the shade it's turn to the left just imagine yeah um and i'm gonna wear this um, that's it. So I got them. My mother says she's at Kingston, girl, and she. I will have her out here. Go on, like, says she's from the country. I wrote for bread food. You know, so she know about them country life, the tri the Trelawney life. <laughs> so she said. So she's she's doing her thing. So I'm gonna show Uno. Should I go cut up the uh, breadfruit? I'm gonna show Uno what it look like. And um, yeah. And then my bro all the something back here. But yeah, let's continue. This is gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long one. See, I cut up. Should I cut up tomorrow? Yeah, cut up tomorrow too. In the morning. You you doing your bucket list in the morning? She doing our, one of our bucket lists. My mother, I'm gonna go on horseback riding one year. We went to Venice. I know she wanna go. But that wasn't your bucket list. Really, was Venice that was your bucket list? Venice was my bucket list. Yeah. Florence. And yeah, Venice and Florence. And she did that already. And in nine years, she's been doing a lot. The, the one thing she didn't do yet. We need to work on that. We forget our pads though. Should I forget knee pad, elbow pad, helmet? <laughs> yeah, I wrote right a bicycle before that. <laughs> Mama doesn't know how to ride a bicycle, y'all. She can't drive. She can't drive and do everything else. But don't ask her nothing about bicycles. So that's her, pet, uh, her bucket list that we're going to work on at some point. But we forget to suit it up. She has to get the elbow pad, the knee pad, the helmet. And get her padded up. <laughs> and we're gonna go to like a nice park. I she, she said insurance. <laughs> get her in a nice park where there's nobody. And uh, we're gonna do this. But for right now, the, the bridge tomorrow. I've done it. She's not. So we'll definitely. So anyway, 
Me go, me, me, we plan to cut the bread food. <laughs> I did it for fun. What are you talking about? Fun? Yes. I can't talk about this, this no, mother. I used to no. I used to date this guy that used to me and him used to act like we were tourists in New York. We went to Ellis Island. We get we went to Rosa, Rose something, whatever that other place was. That Ellis Island. I think that's the only one we didn't do. We we went all over New York. We were we were acting like we didn't live here. Like this is. You got your crazy friend there. Eh? No, he was Nigerian. Fumi, the one that moved to Maryland. He was my buddy, guys. Like we used to do all the touristy stuff in New York just 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 because and we went to a lot of places I've never thought to go to I think when you live in New York you don't think to go to like you know yeah you've been here with 35 years and she's never walked it yeah but it's 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 unfortunately that's the case for a lot of people that live in in um New York like they don't do a lot of things that people that don't live here do yeah and we yeah but i've done a lot because of my friend it was fun he was new to new york he just moved here from nigeria and he just wanted to be a tourist with me and we did a lot we didn't even know where we were going half the time we would just like look at the, the map and, and say hey let's go here and we did that um so it was good times i, I would definitely i miss fool me oh fool me Fumi was good. He was good. He was good fun. He was good fun. Um, I should I should hit him up and see when the next time he comes to New York. But um, but yeah. So we're gonna do that tomorrow and chap chap peel. All right. Let let me show you what you're doing. <laughs> I think you're free. They think it's like a bun up. Red food, all that. He's up. That. You don't think he got a good batch? I doubt it. I think I hit a bad batch this time. All right, guys. Yam is good. I've had roast yam in a while. Delicious. Alright. I should roast the sawfish too. I'm not a roast sawfish person. But yum. Yum is a yes. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> so I am sitting in the car on a Monday with the whole parking situation in New York. This is probably the one thing I would not move back to Brooklyn for the parking situation. Yeah. So let's talk about some books while I wait and before I head out. So I'm wearing this Mimi G sweat top that I made. This is one of those. Oh, I'm gonna make this shit in 45 minutes, guys. Bad, bad idea. Um, it came out fairly well. I just feel like, yeah, got a little string I need to cut. The cuff was too big. Um, this is how the pattern was, so I don't think you know necessarily me. But I was I I need to look at that picture again to see if that was the intention. But if I do it again, which I will, I'm definitely gonna make a few of these. These are just perfect for the weather. Um, the neckline. I'm going to add a little inch to it. I felt it was a little skinny for my liking. Um, and everything else was fine. I did not add the pocket. And I'm glad I didn't because that would have been more complicated. Because this is an absolutely thick fabric. I don't know. It feels good right now. It's 60 something degrees. It might not be a good idea to walk this bridge with this on. Um, but I just know I'm going over water. So that air is going to be cool. But nevertheless this is a nice thick fabric so i'm glad for that all right let's talk about some books i did finish the subscriber pick it's um 84 charlin crossroad this is a um the title is named after a 
bookstore location and this is a bookstore that specializes in books that are no longer in print um books that are um a uh, special edition and you have this woman who is a writer screenplay writer that's american living in, in new york and she writes the bookstore in england um at the time um this is historical fiction started in the 40s and it is a communication span that took 20 years and in this you kind of knew what was going to happen in the fact that they said 20 years respond but i thought this was charming absolutely uh beautiful it's just it gives you a lot of things in this book for what it is for this short it's very short i read this literally in one scene i was just like absolutely in love with the fact that this rich history of uh, books of being in love with books and soaking it up and can't wait to get your hands on it and this idea that this bookstore will provide what you need and they're only corresponding through letters the entire book is written through letters and how other people were were able to chime in at times when um something would happen and it's a it's a very much focus on the historical what was happening during that time you know the rationing of food and things and how caring this woman was whenever she will she responded and what she would provide for them absolutely love this and how grateful the people were and how thoughtful she was when she was doing certain things so this is a book that i feel um it is a, it's it's a book lover's book it's a book that i feel like if you are a book lover you will love this and that's that's the perks about reading this kind of book um and this is all you need to know but just read through it it also made me feel very nostalgic of pen pal days and i had a pen pal and my pen pal was living in Canada. I was living in Jamaica at the time. And I just remember just the, just like the communication of learning each other culture. And it was a sweet moment. And I feel like for this, um, it just gave me that vibes again. And I wish I had the time to commit to doing that. Because I know there's people that still do pen pal. Pen pal and it's just, it's just a thing. So I was, um, you know, fan of this one. And I went to the book, guys. No, sir. Orbit. <laughs> Orbital. Um, this is people, a character, people, ast astronaut, people just in space, and they orbiting around the, the Earth multiple time in in literally a day. Like all this is happening, speed at speed, and they're able to see disaster coming to Earth. So there's this this book. Every year, I feel like the book will always focus on books that are, um, what's the word, like books that are um earth let's save the earth protect the planet or as human we're destroying them there's always that book and I, I get it we we should always still have those kind of book that is going to have a a, a satisfying uh, moment of what we do to our, to the planet however i was bored I was absolutely bored and I wanted to get into the writing because I think the writing is, um, has a, a, a very creative beautifulness about it, but it was just, I, I did not, it was bored. As, as short as this book was, it was, I was bored. I did not, it, it just didn't give me what I guess it was meant to give me. And, you know, to see these people, um, the blurb in the back um it's 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 i guess um a lot of times when you think about it how sometimes in a book you want that kind of creative writing which i'm gonna tell you about with the next book i'm reading that is supposed to give a special feel to the books they select where it's not going to be the average writing style um but sometimes you need a story to still grab you um and it's this, 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 um, I tried, I did, I really tried, but this just didn't do for me. I'm not the reader for this. Um, it's maybe just not me. It's, it's what well, science fiction. <laughs> the book I am now held in Anne Michaels. Now this, um, the writing 
in this. Absolutely. The creative writing in this. Um, the verses. There's, I mean, I, I, I did the dog bit because I didn't bring my tab. So, yeah. Um, there's things in this. There's quotable things in this. Um, let's see if I could pull one up. And when he said mercy is any form of judgment, he thought bestowed, but still a judgment. And there's little things like that that is all in this. Um, the the writing style in this, I'm I'm about a hundred page in. Um, pretty much what we have is a, a, another war situation, and the aftermath of somebody's mind when they come back. Um, and it's taking place over. A couple of years because when it started it was 1917 and I am now in suffix uh, I am 1984 so there's there's some a lot of things going on in this that the way it's moving around it's kind of still have a mystery element to it maybe I don't know we'll see when we get to the end um, but it's, it's really following a man that had went through not knowing he was going to survive that kind of deal. And then there's that aftermath of this woman that's in his life. And a certain imagery and art. Again, book of love art theme that is happening in this. Not sure how to really explain it. Because I feel like there's somewhat of a metaphor going on in this. There's something mysterious going on in this as well. Um, but we'll see. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm in the middle because I'm still trying to figure out what's really going on in this. So, that's what I'm sitting here. I literally have 13 minutes before I can move my behind so I don't get a ticket. Um, the other day when I was at home, a quarter, guys. A quarter in a media. In a meter. That's all it took. And I thought I had time. And I put a ticket. And it was $10. And I was pissed because I'm like, it's a quarter. So I went from a quarter to now having to pay ten dollars, and now I can't find the ticket. So I have no idea what it's gonna be because I don't know what was the deadline, and it might jump to twenty dollars. <laughs> so I am not a fan of parking tickets right now. So I'm hoping to not collect any right now. <laughs> and I think New York is even worse. I want to say it's fifty bucks. I don't know. I've never got one in New York. So I'm stuck here in the car for the next... We got 12 bullets now. So I'm going to continue reading this. And then hopefully my mother is ready. And once the, the, the clock strike, I'm ready to go. And I will take you along with us. As my mother fulfill another bucketless moment. So yeah. So hey guys, we're about to hit this Brooklyn Bridge with my mother. Say hi mother. Oh. Hello. Say hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> How are you all doing? She's doing a bucket list moment, guys. She yes, wants... I am doing a bucket and the can <laughs> and the pail and the chimney and everything. So yeah, we start in the beginning now of walking the bridge. So check back in. Pray for her. I don't know. To her bucket list, guys. <laughs> so, we're doing one summer. All right, we're gonna do that. <laughs> it's um, nice and cool, yeah, very cool. It's like the perfect weather because it's not hot, but it's not cold, but the wind is like nice, so nice, nice. sunshine, bending with the wind. Beautiful, it's a bit of a cardio. <laughs> Beautiful. And the crowd is moderate. 
So this is a Monday, so not a lot of people out here. But yeah. Nice, beautiful day. The weather was perfect for this. So now we gotta figure to get some something to eat. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Salad. It was okay. My mom loves her. She ate the whole thing. She had shrimp. I should have gotten that. The chicken wasn't wasn't it. But it's enough to hold us. And we're gonna walk back to Brooklyn. Over the bridge again. So that we're about to do right now. Yeah, but we didn't know. Oh we didn't know I'm gonna say. coffee guys and yeah. telling me I'm not a blogger because I forgot to record when she was buying the cookies. <laughs> it's beer. It's yeah. something beer. She's, look, we went to this pastry spot because she feels for something pastry. Different. And then we stopped another the eyebrow place. Like, like, it's really her day. It's really her day. I mean, our day. Uh, we, where's the hour? You getting all the treats. Do <laughs> you want to be a sucker for me here? I'll take it. <laughs> Shiny girl put that tip, that sticky, mm -hmm. sticky paper on there, mm -hmm. and then they pull it off fast. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I've ever done in my head. Oh, that's right. thing. Mm. That's waxing there? Yeah. yeah. This that, is that's threading, yeah. That's waxing. So you just, just give it a definition. Yeah, this here. is threading, and you use with paper is uh, mm. waxing. Okay. Okay. Can wow. you do it like this? <laughs> it looks nice. That's it? You're just gonna sit here? How are you feeling? I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's pay for this and get out of here. <laughs> amen, amen. End of it. We completed. We walked we it back. Are champions. Champions. Oh, Jamaican champions. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? So you guys us? can't say nothing. You guys, guess what? We got my mother this full in effect. This champion is 69 years old in a few days. 16 September. 
Okay, next week. It's champion. It's yeah, 60, next Monday. Yeah, sixty-nine. So I can give her the okay. love now. All I can say <laughs> to close out to God be all the glory. <laughs> Alright, guys. So end of today. One more day to go. One more fun day. Alright. <laughs>Hey guys, so we are day three of this, which is my fourth day in New York, and today is another fun day. So today I'm literally relaxing a bit, a um, little bit of cleaning up. So I had completed the blog post for Car Brooklyn Caribbean Literary Festival. So the blog post is up, the video is also up. Um, so I did that this morning just to finish everything up. Um, and now I'm just gonna get something to eat because today is Usher Day. I'm excited. So I'm going to Usher concert. But the thing was, the outfit I make was last minute because I was so focused on my mother's outfit that I didn't really put that much effort into mine. And now I kind of regret because I don't really care for what I'm gonna wear. So I think I'm gonna wear like an old jumpsuit that I didn't make. But I really wanted to wear something I made. So I don't know. I feel like once I, you know, get some makeup on, dress up, I might like the dress. But if I put everything on and and then I might might not. I'm disappointed. And I also don't and I could have made something else that I was gonna really love, but I didn't have enough fabric to make that particular outfit. And I didn't have time to go to the fabric store. So I kind of got stuck with whatever I made. So it's, it's, it's not a good feeling when, you know, I really wanted to be like, oh, I made this kind of situation for the concert, but it's gonna look, it's looking like an old jumpsuit situation. Anyway, I will show you what I'm wearing when I get dressed. Um, I have about three hours to relax, get something to eat before I start getting ready. Um, it is VIP situation. My friend, my friend, she came through. <laughs> I didn't expect none of this, but I'm so grateful and happy about it. And yeah, but I'll take you guys with me. guys so I came back so I can close this blog out yeah Sun is in my face <sighs> I'm a mess <laughs> last night Usher concert was absolutely everything I, I, I have nothing left to give anybody for the day I slept for I got four hours in and then I had to get on the road and come home so I have to work today and I have about three hours so I could sleep I'm gonna take a two-hour nap absolutely gonna take another nap and let's hope today at work is not bad because when I tell you I'm aching between my mom's bucket list and the concert, my legs, my whole body is saying, you, you're good for a while. <laughs> you're good for a while. 
So, highlight from last night, absolutely was, was such a good show. What I really loved is that he, he gave New York some props. He represented by having, first he, he bust out old Jadakiss and I was just like, okay. Um, seen him before in concert. Um, then he had Swiss Beat, which I've also seen before. Um, but Swiss Beat was hype. He was hyped, so he hyped the crowd up. We were all jumping up and down. And um, and then, you can't be in Brooklyn. You got the barcade, you're in Brooklyn. And that represent Caribbean people, i.e. Jamaican people. So when he brought out Barrington Levy, that was it for me. I was like, what? What? Because of all the people, reggae in his era, he's the only one I've never seen in concert at all. Like when I think about it, I've seen them all. Like all of them um and that is the only person i don't recall ever seeing like i'm like thinking of all the concerts i've been to i used to be a party girl i used to be a party girl i sure was <laughs> back in the days and i used to go to a lot of concert and i used to go to a lot of club concert where you used to have performance so um i was just thinking like i don't recall ever seeing even though usher too i've seen usher when he was a kid i was a kid you know we the age was <laughs> um but I, uh, but never seen him perform. It's more like it was the event that he was there, that kind of deal. But Usher was phenomenal. Then I thought it couldn't get any better, and he brought out three members of the Wu Tang Clan. I was done. I was done. Um, but before that, Buster Rhyme. Why am I forgetting Buster Rhyme? He brought out Buster Rhyme too, but. I think because I've seen Buster Ryan like twice, <laughs> that was like hype man loved it. But Wu Tang, I've not seen any member of the Wu Tang, and just to see Method Man, Woo! and then Ghostface, Woo! and Rekwon. Though now Ghostface and Method have always been my thing, but they just don't. They age well. They just age well. I just thought they were just like, I mean, Method Man. And the the thing is, the ticket, the VIP situation we got, never did that VIP situation. I was so glad my friend did that because that was an experience. I love the lounge that they had where, you know, it's like you got two drinks. You got, they had finger food, but I didn't, I didn't eat any of it. Um, and because one, we both were in jumpsuit. So I didn't get to wear my dress. And I'm glad I didn't because that dress would have made me hot. And now that I think about it, that was a good decision. So it wasn't a moment to say I couldn't do where would I mean moment. That's okay. Um, so then uh, we were there for a little bit. Um, and we both don't drink. So we basically got like juice instead, you know, because we, we don't drink. Um, so I got that. Um, and then we sat there and waited for a while and we were just wondering what was happening but when i got to see where we were actually going to be sitting where she actually got the ticket i was like yeah we, we literally could touch <laughs> besides the little barcade that they had we were like that the stage is right there so if you saw the footage i didn't have to zoom in i didn't have to do anything because the, the, literally the stage was there you saw him close up you saw the sweat dripping from him because <laughs> he was sweating you saw the dancers, you saw every nooks and cranny you could think of with them shaking their ass. You saw everything because I was literally like right there. You know, there's that moment when you get the eye connection where he's looking at the crowd and you, you staring at him, he's staring at you, that kind of, you felt all of that. That is the, that's, that's the kind of ticket I wish I could afford on a regular because I love that kind of up close to the stage kind of thing. Um, you, you know, he, he kind of irritated me with the fake money. He was throwing out a hundred dollars, but they were fake money with his, with his face on there. So I'm going to do a little, um, I have enough souvenir from the night to do a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Um, um, a spread in my journal, in my actual travel journal, my travel journal where I put highlights of things I did. I have, I still have that to do. Um, uh, let me show you the, the little goodie bag they give you. So in fairness, I don't think it's that, it's not that serious, but I guess when you were in, if you were in the VIP section, everybody got these. So you get the little badge that says, you know, VIP on there with Usher. And so this is like another one again, I'll just stuff in my, um, what do you call it? And I could probably use this 
you know, for something else. But the the pins that was I'm gonna stuck into my journal. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know what I'm doing this, but this is all his dates of where he's going on his tour. Um, and this is, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do that, but because it's so big, like, what am I gonna do with it? But you know, me, we, we can make a journal with this, we, we can make a journal with this, <laughs> and then there is this. It's like, um, this is another one. One of those magnetic one again, but this was cute. This was cute. It is um, a speaker. Um, it's a speaker. It's a mini speaker with Usher on on there, um, and I guess it has blue. Yeah, it has Bluetooth and all of that. This I thought was cute, and I was like, okay, this is gonna be nice for you know if you wanna. I wonder how loud it is. Um, hopefully it's a decent situation, um, but we'll play around with this and see, you know. But that's all they had in the little, the little VIP goodie bag. But I like the VIP experience, you know. I, I just like the stage situation. I, I like just being that close. I sure did. Mhm. Mm I sure did. And and the people behaved. Nobody crazy. Nothing. It was just the, all love. And I definitely will want to go and and see some other people. I, I'm I'm out now. <laughs> I'm outside now. My <laughs> mother just remind me this morning that you know. You're not young anymore, so your body gonna need to. Yeah, let's just say this is the only weekend that I'm not doing anything for the next couple of weeks. Like I literally don't. I, I mean, I have jazz night coming up this weekend, but that's chill for me. I'm chilling, but nothing crazy. The following week, I have a party. That's gonna also kick my butt because I'm gonna wanna dance and carry on with my friends. Um. And then the following week is Brooklyn Book Festival. And that's another walking up and down, standing up. I'm going to be exhausted for sure. And then the following week is my birthday weekend. Don't have no plans yet. But again, it's my birthday weekend. We're going to be doing stuff. And then I get a little break. And then the end of the October, another event. I am literally socializing the hell out of myself I did put it on my, my, my goal for 2024 to be more social. Because last year, I think I was just cooped up in the house all the time. But not complaining. This vlog is long. And if you made it through the end, you know, let's see. If, you, if you're into that, the, 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 give me flowers. Something. Emoji. If you made it to the end. Um, because I know this, this, is, this video was special. It's a special video. I'm in the light, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This such this video is special because I got to spend some time with my friend that I haven't seen in a few years. It was just I felt like we were just like old time. I got to spend time with my mother and do her bucket list, and I, I really, you know, I spent some time on myself. I purchased some stuff for myself. I enjoyed my four days off. My four days in New York, Brooklyn. Um, Caribbean Literary Festival that was fun it's in a separate video so if you just know it I did a video by itself for that that was the highlight of how the week how the four days started they started with the bang and it ended with a bang this is how I like my mini vacation to look like I, I just need two days to recover but we ain't gonna waste no days I'm not wasting no vacation time or personal days cuz I got other stuff I want to do so I'm gonna be suffering at work today, but just know a time was had. A time was had. Okay? Alright, thanks for watching and yeah, leave me a little flower emoji and let me know that you watched and let me know if you enjoyed this video. It is not the typical, but I had a good time recording this and putting it together. Well, not putting it together yet, but I just know it's going to be a lot of work putting it together. And I already know it's going to be long, so I am prepared for a long video. And hope you guys watch it all. And so, yeah, let me end this here and go rest. Go get my little two-hour two nap before I have to 
go to work. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And book stuff is coming. In the next video, we'll be talking about book stuff. Okay? All right. Bye.